The Hibs are really pushing on. Five minutes, I think they would have won the game, and I think that was encouraging for for the manager David Gray that the team kept going. They never chucked it. It won nothing, and uh, listen, the, the fans gave them a, gave them a applauded them off the pitch, uh, which doesn't happen too many times at Easter Road after a draw. So, no, I thought it, a draw was a fair result. Aberdeen have got a lot of work to do, but then so have Hibs. Yeah, um, and over and above that, um, when you look at this Aberdeen side, <laughs> it's going to change drastically, that's for certain. Um, Jim Goodwin says a lot of faces will be heading out the door. I picked the starting 11 who are all under contract for, for next season. Uh, a number of the, the nine subs, uh, you know, six of them I think have been already told that they're um, either not getting an offer or are surplus to requirements. So with that, there's always a little bit of a um, tension and uh, frustration maybe within the group Yeah, Andrew Shiny joins us now um, Andrew, Jim Goodwin is wielding the axe I think he'll be even more ruthless as we finally get the two games out of the way and then it's all change at Pataudry Yeah, it's going to be a massive turnaround um, and I would just echo everything that Tam said about the game um, a draw was the, f the best result and for me, the highlight of the day was to get to meet Tam. Um, so that tells you everything, doesn't it? <laughs> um, two identical sides, um, lacking in confidence, um, not looking likely to score. Two identical goals, cross in from the left-hand side, lay off at the far post and a defender scoring. But, um, you know, an awful lot of work for both sides to do if they're going to get up to the part of the table that they really aspire to because this season's just been a write-off for both clubs. Yeah, and, and Ruffy, if Andrew Shiny is saying the highlight of going to Easter Road was getting to meet Tam McManus, it tells you how bad the season's been for Andrew Shiny. <laughs> he doesn't get out much. Just seeing somebody and chatting to somebody like Tam, yeah. and we've seen his after-dinner act. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's quite, it's worrying, isn't it? Yeah, well, rumour has it, Andrew saw Tam coming near him and he tried to hide in the sand somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Tam uh. found him. Yeah, to, to get back to the game, I, was, I only saw the highlights, you know, and it's the first time ever that I've seen it on the telly when the first half comes on and it lasted five seconds and all of a sudden it was the second half and I went, oh, there was nothing happening. <laughs> that just shows you how poor it was. Isn't it amazing though, uh, Alison, that Andrew Shiny has told us about the game, Tam McManus has told us about Bobby Madden and his performance and there's not a call for an investigation and a full back page spread on Bobby Madden's allegiance in this game.